the learning journey in association with Ross Audio presents Did You Know? And this week we want to explore Rondell Robinson, a tireless advocate for civil rights and social justice. Let me tell you a little about Randall Robinson, an American lawyer, author, activist, who dedicated his life to serve and fight for civil rights and social justice. As a prominent figure in the civil rights movement, Robinson's work has had a lasting impact on both national and international policies. This presentation will explore Robinson's life, his accomplishments, and his continuous legacy on the global stage. Robinson was born in the United States, in Richmond, Virginia, where he grew up in a racial segregated society that would later inspire his activism. He studied at Virginia Union University before attending Harvard Law School, gaining his knowledge and skills to fight for civil rights. He witnessed the injustices faced by African Americans during his formative years, and this compelled him to fight for the rights of others. Robinson founded the Trans-Africa Movement in 1977 to influence U.S. foreign policy towards Africa and the Caribbean nations. Trans-Africa's work has brought much-needed attention to the plight of disenfranchised communities across Africa and the Caribbean. Let me also say that during the apartheid period, he was an advocate for fighting against the system. The apartheid system was a system of institutionalized racial segregation and discrimination in South Africa. Robinson played a crucial role in lobbying the U.S. government to impose economic sanctions on South Africa to pressure the country to dismantle the apartheid system. His effort contributed to the passage of the Comprehensive Anti-Apartheid Act of 1986, which marked a turning point in the struggles against apartheid. His work also focused on the Caribbean as stated before, and he was an advocate for Haiti. Haiti has had a long political turmoil, economic hardship, and social inequality that have left its people struggling. Robinson saw this and he worked tirelessly to advocate for the restoration of democracy in Haiti, demanding accountability from foreign governments and organizations. His efforts and his advocacy work for Haiti has provided much needed humanitarian aid and support for the Haitian people, helping them to, of course, improve the quality of life. Rondell Robinson has written several influential books that discuss race, politics, and, of course, social justice. His writings always encompassed the themes connected to racial inequality, global politics, and the need for continued advocacy for the marginalized communities. And through his work as an author, he has contributed to public discourse and inspired many to fight for social justice in our society. Throughout his career, Robinson received numerous awards and honors for his dedication to the civil rights movement and, of course, social justice. His accomplishments have been widely recognized. Robinson's tireless advocacy has inspired future generations of civil rights advocates to carry on the fight for social justice. His work remains relevant in today's society as we continue to grapple with social issues of inequality and human rights abuses. The legacy of Robinson serves as a reminder that the struggle for justice is ongoing, it's everlasting, and you have to keep on fighting. Robinson's impact on civil rights and on social justice extends beyond the borders of the United States, inspiring change on a global scale. As we reflect on his accomplishments, his legacy, let us commit ourselves to continue to fight for social justice and equality for all. Ultimately, Robinson's life and work serves as a powerful testament to the importance of standing up for what you believe in. In 2001, Robinson moved to the Caribbean to the island of St. Kitts. He chose to leave the United States for several reasons. Somehow he thought 
he had reached the point that his impact would be better felt being out of the country. By moving to St. Kitts, Robinson sought a more peaceful and less oppressive environment while still continuing his advocacy for civil rights and social justice. In St. Kitts, he found a deeper connection to his ancestral roots and renewed a sense of purpose. Let me end by saying, are you an advocate for social justice? If not, why not? Because if you advocate for others, you're practically advocating for yourself. So let's remember Randall Robinson, who departed this life in the month of March 2023. Over to you, Rossi.